everybody welcome to the channel in today's video I'm going to show you different concentration of pH adjusters and how to use them okay so basically we're going to go through different concentration of uh, solutions you can use to adjust the pH of your beauty product and how they are used so basically I have four here over my desk the first one are the acid acidic pH adjuster. This is basically citric acid. Okay, so here I have 10%, 1090 citric acid solution. Okay, then I have 50-50 citric acid solution. You can also have 25-75 citric acid solution. So basically the concentration depends on the type of product you are making. So for instance, if you're making regular lotion, you can use 1090 citric acid solution. You ask me why. If you have, a, if you are making a lotion, remember you use emulsifier to make a lotion. Your lotion will be thicker, it's not runny, right? So basically, you can hard when you want to check the pH or when you want to lower the pH of your beauty product, you use acidic solution. Okay, so keep this concept in mind. When you want to lower the pH of your beauty product, you use acidic solution. When you want to bump up the pH of your beauty product, you use an alkaline solution. Okay, so we'll get to that later. So basically, you have 1090 citric acid solution and you have 50-50 citric acid solution. You ask me, so what's the best that you use for a lotion? This is the best you use for a lotion. And how do you make it? You had 10% citric acid, okay? Citric acid here. I have a link in the description for box below for where you can get it. So add the 10% citric acid to 90% of distilled water. Mix it together. That will give you 1090 citric acid solution. You ask me, oh, do we have to do any scientific calculation? No. For the purpose of adjusting pH, you don't need any. It's just as simple as adding 10% of citric acid to 90% distilled water. That will give you um that is going to give you exactly what you need to adjust your lotion so basically if you are making 100 gram of this you have 10 gram of citric acid to 90 gram of distilled water and that will make this for you the same here so you use this for your lotion toner any beauty product that doesn't that does not have high acidic value now let's say you want to make um any product with glycolic acid with um, any acidic active this is when you use this you're going to ask me okay why well in those situations you're going to need high concentration of uh, citric acid because if you have to use this you, I mean you're going to have too much and it, gone, it can alter uh, the structure of your beauty product so that's why we use it so just keep that in mind if you are using any highly acidic active like glycolic acid okay even though you may not need this at this point but let's see we'll get to that at a point and another point but keep in mind you can use a high concentration of citric acid but if you are just making lotion don't worry about that go for this okay how do you make 50 50 it's just simple as adding 50 percent citric acid to 50 percent distilled water so that is how you make that. Now let's move on to, so this is to lower the pH of your beauty product. If you do not know how to do that, look in the description box below. I have tons of video, you can search on the channel, tons of video on how to lower the pH of your beauty product. So now let's go for alkaline solution. An alkaline solution is a solution you use to bump up the pH of your beauty product. So it's the opposite of an acidic solution so let's say you make a lotion for instance and your lotion has a ph of nine you know nine is too high for your for your skin right you want to go to the comfortable ph of between five and 5.5 or even up to six now if you have to lower that ph you're going to go for an alkaline solution this is a bit more tricky to make you have to be careful because uh, we're going to use lye sodium hydroxide Okay, we use sodium hydroxide to make that, and because sodium hydroxide is very, very um, dangerous, you have to handle it here. I have a video also on the channel, different video on how to make it. So basically, how do you make 1090 light solution? You have 10 gram or 
of your life solution to 90% distilled water. Mix it together, allow it to cool down, then pour it into a suitable container. In my next video, I'm going to tell you the suitable container to store your beauty product or your pH adjuster. So just like I said before, we don't use 50-50 lye solution because lye is very strong is a strong alkaline solution that can rapidly alter the ph of your product so we don't go that high so basically we have 10 percent lye solution or 25 75 lye solution you ask me what is that just like this is 10 to 90 10 lye to 90 distilled water this is 25 lye to 90 distilled to 75 uh, distilled water so this also is very good when you're using when you're making for example if you're making any beauty product with uh, an acidic active so let's say you want to make a glycolic acid serum make sure you have this handy and uh, make sure also that you have 50 50 citric acid handy this is for you to be able to adjust the pH uh, per each level that you are in the formulation so that's very important that you keep that in mind so Basically, this is what we do. We have 25-75 light solution. We have 10-90 light solution. Then we have 10-90 citric acid solution. We have 50-50 citric acid solution. And you can also have 25-75 citric acid solution. So that's basically how the different concentration of your pH adjusters. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to make each of them. So if you have never done that before, in my next video, I'm just going to show you how to make these different concentration of pH adjuster. Okay, so let's uh, get ready for that. And I'm going to show you the best container to package. And you ask me what type of container is this? Stay tuned for that video. So I'll show you the type of container to package them in. So thanks for joining me today. Remember, this is a channel for you if you want to improve your cosmetic formulation skill. Okay, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. And wait a moment before you leave. If you want to increase your formulation knowledge, maybe you have a plan to make a uh, uh, highly effective beauty product and also you are considering maybe at some point in time you want to start your start making your own beauty product to sell make sure you head over to stablecosmeticformulas.com that's where I teach cosmetic formulation a project at a time and also on through that channel I also mentor beauty brand owner so you can join me join me at stable cosmetic formula and join me for my upcoming project and the past project we have done and we have many many more project upcoming so don't forget to do that also look in the description box below for link to that amazing website that will really really empower you and you know improve your help you improve your formulation skill thanks for joining me today and happy formulating